All right, everyone, let's get started. Welcome to Crypto Corner, the video podcast that brings you the latest news, reviews and market analysis that helps you in your crypto journey. Well, today I have some bullish news for Cardano and Shiba for you. According to the Twitter account of Wellstats, a website that tracks the biggest well addresses for a few popular networks such as Ethereum and also Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, Polygon and Avalanche, the only track addresses with amounts that are larger than a thousand Ether or the equivalent in other tokens. So they tweeted this, a BNB well ranking fifth amongst the largest 1000 BNB wells bought 5 million ADA, almost $6 million worth. Large holders are typically known to use periods of dip and consolidations to accumulate their favorite tokens at a discount, and ADA seems to be seeing pressure from mid-term holders. According to Into the Blocks holder composition by time held, only 7% of ADA holders have kept their tokens for more than a year, while 71% have kept them for between 1 and 12 months, and 22% have kept their tokens for less than a month. The fact that the majority of ADA holders are short and medium term investors could indicate that ADA was under buying pressure from this group. I am in this group actually, as I hold ADA for months, but never for more than a year. I prefer to sell at peaks or at times when I see the market go into a downward trend. That goes for all outs that I trade. I only hold Bitcoin and Ethereum long term. So this tweet points to a large accumulation, but that's not the only positive thing that is coming out right now for Cardano. The Cardano blockchain recently reached a milestone of 3 million wallets. Since late 2020, according to Kraken's latest report, the network activity has increased dramatically as well as adoption. Sunday Swap, the first decentralized exchange that was built on Cardano recently launched on the blockchain's mainnet. Melt, a non-custodial banking protocol, SpaceBuds, a non-fungible token platform and NAMI, a wallet extension, are among the most well-known Cardano projects. And now there is a new DEX that is being built on Cardano, which is about to take off. It's called Cardax and it will compete with the already popular Sunday Swap, but it is not the most ideal decentralized exchange on the Cardano network as it is continuously plagued by congestion issues. I'm talking about Sunday Swap. And this is where Cardax enters in the picture, bringing a hitch free DAP to the Cardano ecosystem. The underlying framework of Cardax sets the project up for success as users do not have to worry about running into the same issues that they had with Sunday Swap at launch. It eliminates the risk of congestion issues by solving underlying problems with transaction confirmations. With its unique streaming merge algorithm, Cardax promises to be the answer to users' prayers. How the two DEXs compare? Well, the Sunday Swap DEX has transactions confirmed in two stages. The first stage is verification, which takes place in the stake pools. This first stage runs perfectly well. The bottleneck is during the second stage of this two-part system that requires the scoopers. Scoopers basically need to pick up a user's order a transaction for confirmation before the transaction goes through. This is where congestion issues arise. Cardax completely eliminates this risk by using a streaming merge model instead of scoopers or mergers. The streaming merge algorithms makes it possible that Cardax does not require a group of elected or trusted mergers to confirm transactions. Orders do not have to be merged in this model, thus greatly reducing the risk of congestion when merging takes longer than expected. Cardax also makes some significant deviations on the code side to ensure that there are no congestion issues with the project. Cardax will be launching on the mainnet later this year. With its underlying model, the decentralized exchange will be able to avoid all of the congestion issues suffered by the Sunday Swap protocol. At least this is the expected result. Time will tell if this promise will be realized. The DEX is using the automated market maker protocol, which is the same protocol that underpins Sunday Swap. However, Cardax is hoping to take all of the good parts of the Sunday Swap DEX and forego the bad. This includes keeping up with Sunday Swap's track record of not losing any users' funds despite the congestion issues that continue to plague the protocol.
Since Cardax does not write its smart contracts in the usual way, users will not have to reveal their intended order on the blockchain, but would only need to wait for the registration instead of having to wait for their orders to go through. This means that once a user registers, their order will be processed at a much faster pace. This is also going to create some hype in the Cardano community for sure, which could translate into a price jump, but we don't actually have a date for this launch yet. On their website, as you can see, the message is simply saying coming soon. If any of you, my dear viewers, finds out a possible date for this, please let me know in the comments below. Now also, according to Wellstats, the same website, the most traded token right now is Chainlink, while Shiba Inu once again regained its throne as the biggest holding token after Ether, with now more than $1.7 billion worth of tokens being held by the large investors on the Ethereum network. The sudden spike in the popularity of Shiba was followed by the strong recovery of the meme token following the rebound of the altcoin market. Yesterday I mentioned it gained approximately 50% of its value recovered since the local bottom that it reached on the 3rd of February. And while retail traders have once again drawn their attention to the token, Wells have also decided to accumulate more tokens while it traded at a relatively large discount. Another Shiba Inu well has emerged on the network by purchasing 3.4 trillion Shiba worth more than $115 million. While Shiba regained its throne yesterday with $1.8 billion held by Wells, the value of holdings has decreased a little bit to $1.7 billion due to the market fluctuations as we can see here. So all in all, Shiba Inu and Cardano have seen some really positive moves over the last few days. With the market already recovering, I'm expecting that they will gain even more traction. And with all of the things that are happening on Cardano specifically, I'm expecting that this token will do much better than what it did over the last few months. If you remember, after reaching an all-time high, Cardano really dropped and it's been trading for under 60% from its all-time high for the longest time uh, ever since. So I'm really expecting that uh, Cardano is going to gain some more traction right now and will recover at least another 50% from here, uh, reaching around $2. At this point, I'm expecting that it will be consolidating or maybe a pullback, but really $2 right now is the target for Cardano so that many of the investors can get at break-even prices or at least not be underwater as much because under two dollars cardano is still a loss for many of the recent investors many of those who actually jumped at the latest hype at the latest peak when it was actually going from two dollars to three dollars there were so many investors that actually jumped into cardano at these price levels they're all at losses right now if they haven't sold yet so hopefully cardano will manage to get at the two dollar price range and after a consolidation, I'm expecting another strong action from the bulls that would hopefully push it yet again close to its all-time high. This episode of Crypto Corner is sponsored by BitYard, an exchange that I have been using for well over a year already. They operate in 150 countries with licenses in USA, Estonia and Singapore and provide spot and leveraged trading on numerous assets. Not only they have loads of cryptocurrencies, including some of the newest coins to hit the market, but also derivatives such as crude oil, precious metals, gold, silver and more, stocks such as Nasdaq and Minidao. And they offer up to 100x leverage on many of these markets. What I find very useful is that on spot trading, they separate cryptocurrencies in groups like DeFi tokens or proof of stake tokens or tokens from the Grayscale Trust portfolio or Binance Smart Chain tokens and so on. This makes it easier when I want to focus only on a specific category of tokens and they keep adding more and more assets. They have tripled the list of supported coins since I started using this exchange. So there's a much better choice already. In terms of security, they keep the majority of their funds in cold storage with only a smaller portion in hot wallets that are used to pay withdrawals and all withdrawals are manually approved during working hours only, so there's less risk of violations or exploits. 
They offer a copy trading service, so users that aren't very experienced can take advantage of those who are more skilled and make profits by copying their trades in an automated and uncomplicated way. You can go through the stats for each trader and choose what amount to allocate to them and you can choose multiple traders to copy at the same time. You can use it on a desktop or mobile, their app is on both Android and iOS, so it's easy to use it on the go as well. As I said, I've been using this exchange a lot throughout the past year and the customer service team is very responsive, unlike many other exchanges where I've had to wait for days and weeks sometimes to get any response. Bityard has a live chat service, so you can find assistance pretty fast. They also offer up to $258 in various bonuses for new users, so grab the invite link from the description below to register and find out more. All right, well, now you're up to date. This is everything for this episode, guys. Thanks for staying until the end. As usual, if you like this video, show your support by leaving a like and a comment below and share it with someone else who would benefit from watching it. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification so you know when I'm posting a new episode. I'm coming to you on a daily basis with market analysis, news, reviews of established projects or new projects, and of course, tutorials that help you master the crypto markets. Also, make sure that you check out the links in the description where I drop the links to all of the services that I'm personally using and that I do recommend to you, such as top exchanges, top hardware wallets, the tools that I'm using for my market analysis, technical analysis, data aggregators, and some other services, crypto services that help me grow my crypto, earn interest on my crypto and other things. So make sure that you check out these links. And I also dropped the links to my two ebooks in there, Learn Crypto. This is the ultimate beginner's guide. It's got everything that you need to know about cryptocurrencies if you're just starting to invest in this. And Crypto Jargon A to Z. This is a complete dictionary, over a thousand terms, acronyms, trading slang, all kinds of terms that you will actually see on social media or in videos where people are doing technical analysis or posting signals or just generally discussing blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. So I wrote these two ebooks to help you in your crypto journey and if you want to be on my mailing list I'm sending out a bi-weekly newsletter on the 1st and on the 15th of each month I'm sending newsletters packed with information market analysis and other insights that will also help you navigate in the crypto sphere so grab the link from there join my mailing list and I'm gonna see you in the next episode